Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, so today I'm going to show the Axon build gear that I use in OP8 with a download in the description. So, it's Axon. Only one left to do extra after Axon and that is Zero. May take me a bit to get that out because I don't really play Zero, but I'll sure to do my best in getting that one. Anyway, Axon. So, Axon. With Axon, this is quite gear dependent, so you see that I've gone a bit over the backpack space, 45 out of 39, which is a shame, but he likes to have many different elementals of the same weapon. So I'm going to start out with, um, start with the quick weapons deeper, because what character can't make use of the deeper? <laughs> Slagger. I prefer the Slagger over this Florentine because the Florentine is what, an 18 cent chance to slag? Whereas the Slagger is 24 times 3. And shields aren't particularly a problem, uh, a Slagger can handle a shield by itself, so that is enough. That is enough. Soul Explosion. The Soul Explosion is a great crowd control weapon with Axon, making it a must have on his character. Uh, I've gone for non-elemental or explosive elemental battle boom just because of these explosive buffs that he gets uh, from certain from the relic and I do have a shock one as well if you don't want to use an explosive one but an explosive one is definitely quite beneficial for Axton. Uh, okay, on to the weapons. Avenger! Because the Avenger is just insane when paired with the B shield. Hyperius, I've got Fire one for Hyperius um, and Shock one for B shield. Maybe Makers, there should be a Fire one. There isn't a Fire one. Yes there is, there it is. Maybe Makers are great to, for mobbing. The Avengers are pretty shocking when it comes to mobbing. They're terrible. Uh, so that's why the Baby Makers are there. Uh, very powerful weapon. Northfleet He's like a wind element that is not very resisted. And Axon doesn't really need rocket launch to get up because he's got do or die skill, which uh, will definitely benefit him greatly with fastballs. Gunrang, an insane TDO pistol, great. Just awesome in general. Got the uh, shock, battle boom here, shock, same reason as uh, the North Fleet. And it's very good at uh, clearing beats shields. Conference calls, just general great weapon. Uh, Hornet. Hornet is a great little sidearm, uh, corrosive sidearm. It's brilliant against uh, armored maniacs or yeah, ironclad lunatics. Ain't the call. I don't play this game anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it's a one of the probably the best anti-armor pistol. It's just a brilliant weapon in general. I'm going neutralizing and not double just because double will just... <laughs> you fire it a couple of times and you instantly just have to reload again and that's not fun and overall DPS is very similar however the neutralizing hornet is definitely a uh, personal favorite. Uh, I can't speak! Personal favorite! <laughs> Nasty Ogre. Nasty Ogre. I don't particularly like the Ogre, but a lot of people do, so it's here. I don't use it, but it's definitely a, a good weapon on Axton, and that's why it is here. No problem, score. Sandhawks. Because why not? Yeah. Sandhawks, you're pretty much necessary, really. If you want to kill certain raids. Pimpinel? Barking Pimpinel? Barking Pimpinel over Gentleman's because it's better and I kind of forgot to change all the previous characters. Sorry, yeah, but it's fixed, it's fine, it doesn't overly matter too much, but it's there, a weird graphical glitch on the gun itself. Hopefully you won't have that. And the Grog Nozzle. I don't particularly use the Grog Nozzle that much in accident, but it's here. Okay, Relic. We've got Bone of the Ancients. A sheriff's badge, if you um, prefer the sheriff. I for the deeper. If you're going deeper focused, I prefer the sheriff's badge over the explosive relic. However, it doesn't over matter too much. It's 
personal preference really, but I prefer the fire rate over the single shot damage. Class mods. Legendary Soldier is probably the best DPS in total, just because of the extra gun damage, the extra fire rate, and the extra insane cooldown rate. Right? Just overall amazing class mod. And you're getting impact, preparation, healthy, sentry, ready, all just awesome class mod. Engineer, another great uh, class mod. You can get your turret out more with the engineer, which means you get more battlefront bonuses. But in terms of raw DPS between the two, the soldier just beats out in the engineer. However, the engineer, as I say, it's very nice to get those turrets out more often. Pointman, tank. Uh, the Grenadier is a brilliant class mod if you're going grenade axe and you know, full fastball, full transfusion, that is a thing. Um, just general grenade spec. And also, that grenade damage will go over to weapons like the Deeper, so, you know, it's a good class mod in general. And then the Chaos at good range for just good shooting and grit and that stuff. <laughs> Longbow Slide Transfusion. I like that grenade. It's just a great grenade. Almost like a negative. The reason why I'm using a basic normal transfusion over the negative at this time is the zero zero fuse time. However, if you don't care about the zero zero fuse time, I definitely recommend this uh, the EO negative. In general, it's just so good. Eight shell grenades, insane grenade. Meteor shower, just widespread DPS. Again, it's not a great grenade that I particularly use. However. You cannot question its effectiveness. It is so good at clearing out rooms. Fastballs, because the fastball is probably Axton's highlight. Just walk around, one-shotting things. They are so good. Bouncing Bonnie. I will lower the level of it, um, just because you don't use it for damage. You use it for slagging over a wide area. So don't worry. I will lower the level up uh, before you receive this. And uh, it's. I prefer it to the crossfire, um, mainly because you can get a zero zero fuse time, which will I also do. It'll lose its sticky, but that doesn't matter with zero zero fuse time. Um, there's that, and there's less explosions, and explos the explosions are likely to slag you, but there is more bullets, which are likely to slag the enemy quite high. So that's why I prefer the bonnet. Firestorm, Firestorm, it's a kind of an awkward grenade to use, but can be very effective. It can be extremely effective. Uh, Haley Rink did a video with Axton using the Firestorm and it was just nuts. Chain Lightning, just kind of a standard grenade that people carry, as is the Magic Missile. So there, there. As for shields, we've got the Antagonist. The Antagonist is great against bullet enemies, it's just overall great shield, very short delay, decent recharge rate, and a very high capacity. Plus with the ability to slag enemies, that doesn't really happen overly much, but damage reduction bullets, deflection chance, it's just great shield in general. Another great shield, the blockade, you know, under 2 second delay, very high recharge rate, not quite the same capacity. However, the flat 38% damage reduction you get from it is very good, especially if you're not going to just be up against bullet enemies. If you're going up against enemies that aren't just bullets, kinetic damage focused, the blockade is probably beats it out. Uh, however, against enemies wielding guns, then antagonist is better. Evolution, in case you're going for a very healthy Axton. Axton, a lot of these health regen comes from percentage bonuses, so more health is actually beneficial. Uh, if you are going off a grog nozzle, less health is beneficial. But if you're going off percentage bonuses, like able and preparation, more health the better, and elemental resistance of 86%, along with a semi, you know, fairly good, uh, very good recharge delay and rate when compared to its capacity. It's just a good shield, it's a great shield in general. Big Boom Blaster for grenade action, enough said. Sham, enough said. This shield, these are just the basic shields, there's not really much explanation to them. I wouldn't particularly use a B-Shield on accident unless you're going to go B-Hawking against a raid boss. That's it. And I've got the Rough Rider. Because it is a build. I've used it. It's very powerful. 
but <laughs> you die so much. It's ridiculous. It's you only a full, healthy, you know, able and well preparation wouldn't work, so that's why I kinda of lean away from using the Rough Rider. However, if you got a a good nurse spec Maya in the game, Rough Rider is a great shield for Axon. So that's overall the gear that I am using. Uh, of course I will fix uh, a couple of things. For example, the fuse delay and the level of that Bonnie. Uh, as for the spec, I've gone with the standard Gunston build that I have. You know, with all gun damage and tank. If you want to fight Dorans, just move those four points from there into there. And yeah, that should be good. It's a good solid spec for non B shield use in general mobbing. So don't worry about that. And buzz off, don't know why I'm showing you that. But yep. So, this has been Axum. Next time will be zero. Next time I do one of these downloads. Why am I doing these downloads so close to the pre-sequel? Whatever, I just thank you for watching. See you next time.